Outrage. That is the reaction from some lawmakers right now after the Trump administration announced this week that the money to pay for the president's border wall is going to come not from anything Congress has approved and definitely not from Mexico, but instead from diverting billions of dollars that were set for military construction projects. According to the Defense Department, 11 wall projects at the border will mean 127 military construction projects are now on hold. CNN's Alex Marquardt has the details. He's joining me right now. Alex? Norfolk, Virginia is home to the U.S. Navy's Atlantic Fleet and the largest naval base in the world. The area's central and vital role in military operations and national security hasn't stopped the Trump administration from naming four different military projects here whose almost $80 million in funding will now be diverted to pay for the border wall. All of these projects are being lost for a wall that makes no sense and everybody knows it. Democratic Congressman Bobby Scott has represented the district for almost three decades and says President Trump's decision is costing his constituents jobs. It means that the jobs that could have come to the area won't come to the area. Uh, tens of millions of dollars worth of, uh, worth of construction. That's a lot of economic impact uh, to this area that we're going to lose for a wall that is not needed. In all, $3.6 billion in military funds are being taken to help pay for the wall. 127 projects, from firing ranges to aircraft hangars to child care, both at home and abroad, whose budgets are being gutted. In Virginia, the four that are losing $77 million in funding are a naval ship maintenance facility, two hazardous materials warehouse projects, and a cyber operations facility. In a place with such a historic and important military heritage, where 40% of the economy is related to military funding, that hurts both financially and emotionally. Our community is a fabric built on, on military veterans and a very healthy uh, po military population here in the Hampton Roads region, so I think there's a general sense of disappointment. Bruce Sturck retired from the Air Force as a colonel, last serving at Langley Air Force Base, which is now being stripped of $10 million for that cyber operations and training facility. At a time when cyber attacks are one of the greatest threats to national security, along with others that will now be ignored, says Democratic Congresswoman Elaine Luria, a retired naval commander whose district is also affected. You know, I know firsthand from, you know, having spoken to the, the commanders at the bases where this impact is going to happen, that it is going to impact our mission and our security. Not just the security of the nation, but those serving it, whose priorities now may not be addressed. It's like your husband, it's your neighbor, it's your wife who's going on a deployment and you don't want to think that you know their ship wasn't maintained properly or they didn't have the right tools that they needed to go do their job. So it hits home a lot in a community like this where everyone is so tied to the military. The Pentagon is pushing back on this notion that these projects have been defunded. They say they've just been deferred, that they'll get their funding back at a later date. But this $3.6 billion had been specifically appropriated by Congress for these projects. And Kate, it is getting political. Democrats say this is, is exactly why you have congressional approval. And now to get those projects refunded, the money needs to be reapproved by Congress which is far from certain. And then when it comes to electoral politics, if you look at just the 23 states that have been affected here, they include three competitive Senate races for 2020 where Republicans are the most vulnerable. Democrats can now tell voters in those races, look, the Republican administration took tens of millions of dollars away from us and made us less secure in the process. Kate. That is some tough math, math to swallow. 127 projects on hold for 11 projects at the border wall. Thanks, Alex. Really appreciate it. Great reporting.